Preparatory sketches are important to an artist for a number of reasons. It allows the artist the freedom to experiment and work through ideas, and can offer insight to the viewer when compared against the final painting. Sketches are typically a smaller format, allowing the artist to work in a wider range of environments. These sketches from Frederick Banting, the co-discoverer of insulin, were created on a trip to the Arctic with friend and traveling companion, A.Y. Jackson. A week before their trip, Banting received a telegram stating, can offer nothing luxurious. If you're prepared to face the hazards of the North and assume the responsibility, department will be glad to have you. As Banting himself elaborated, sketching was done under considerable difficulty. Cold and wind would have chilled the enthusiasm of a less ardent worker. The barren wastes proved to be rich in form and color, strange rhythms and unexpected vistas. The benefit of sketching is particularly apparent when creating pictures in environments that are changing rapidly. Jackson and Banting could not keep up with capturing the passing landscape from a moving ship and reverted to pencil drawings instead of oil on small wooden panels. Over the years, Banting accompanied Jackson on many sketch sketching trips. At different times, they returned to the north shore of the St. Lawrence, traveled to the Great Slave Lake area, and visited the group of Seven Haunt, Georgian Bay. Another drawing produced from aboard a boat is this sketch by E.J. Hughes, which was produced from the 290-foot-long Princess Adelaide. While the artist was prone to seasickness, Hughes had refined his sketching technique when he was a Canadian war artist. This picture is a full tonal rendering, which he called a cartoon, that would provide what was needed in his studio in order to create the final painting. The resulting oil, steamer in Grenville Channel, BC, 1952, is now the centerpiece of the Barbo Owen Foundation's collection, displayed at the Odane Art Museum at Whistler. This cartoon is offered for sale for the first time in over 50 years.